27th, we left Christchurch and went through Sheffield where there was really yummy pies at the famous Sheffield Pie Shop. We then stopped in Springfield where there were awesome horses and we had a horse ride seeing beautiful views and I got a sore bum. And then we went through the beautiful Arthur's Pass where we saw some keys that wanted to look out um, and finally stopped in Hokitika after a beautiful drive. I think that would be a bit dangerous if you tried to bite me while driving there. No, it's there. not that bad. It doesn't feel like ages hey, because everything's so interesting. It's just really cool watching those mountains come up in the back. In the distance. On Wednesday the 28th, we left Hokitika and passed through Franz Josef where we stopped at the Kiwi Wildlife Centre and we learnt about how they raised the kiwi chicks and got to watch some of them scratching around and playing and hatching in their incubator box things. Um, and we bought our Sloppy the kiwi, who you'll notice in lots of the later pictures. We then had a bit of a rainforest walk near the Franz Josef Glacier, which was very pretty. And then we headed on to Fox Glacier, where we went right up the glacier and had a look at it. Um, I think lots of signs about falling ice and boulders and things, but it was very beautiful and not especially cold. We spent the night of Wednesday the 28th in a small caravan park just outside Haast. The next morning we drove into Haast and had a look around at some shops which included a place with possum fur and merino wool clothing. I just particularly wanted to take possum skin home, but I thought that would scare our visitors. Um, then we um, drove through to Wanaka, where we stopped for a coffee, and we went to a place called Have a Shot, and I had a go at shooting a rifle, which I'd done before, but I hadn't, but I was all right at it. Um, and then we had a coffee and ice cream, um, and then continued through to Queenstown, where we settled down for the night just outside of Queenstown and shot over and booked our tour of Milford Sound for the next day. A nice view and I will show you the video later so you can experience what I am it's really spectacular yeah, at this point they're very lucky that my dad is not in the car because he would be really scared of this height so green down there On Friday the 30th we had our tour of Milford Town so we got up quite early, jumped on the bus and went into Queenstown where we caught another bus which took us all the way down to Milford Town. The drive was really pretty itself, we went through lots of forest and rainforest and we learnt lots of things um, from our bus driver, for example about the lupins that grow everywhere which were dropped by a farmer who was very annoyed that the conservation people had taken his land for a national park and wanted him to cut down his apple trees. So when they cut down his apple trees, he spread around some lupin seeds 
um, and some friends who heard about it um, decided to get a couple of sacks of the stuff and go up in a helicopter and drop them everywhere. So they're now all over the island to the point that I thought they were natives. on the road, on well, the road, see so this pile of rocks just on the left here, that's where the road used to be, just there. Wow. And every time, it, every time we have heavy rain in here, it moves. Edmund Hillary liked this mountain. For those who don't know, Sir Edmund Hillary, New Zealander. Um, Wilford Sound is beautiful. Lots of waterfalls. Um, we spent a lot of time out on deck, which is pretty windy. Um, and then the bus ride back the way we came. We got good lunch on the boat. And then back on the bus and back home, finishing up quite late. <laughs> Oh. I don't think the captain backs off until a tourist gets saturated. They're getting really wet. Look at that. I don't want to get wet like that. They're all coming in now. <laughs> to film them and then I filmed the waterfall for a while and then when I filmed again they were all rushing back inside looking very wet but now I can't see because the glass has got all water on it people 